Hello everybody, this is Melanie with Crafting Chaos with Melanie. I hope everybody is doing good today. Today we are going to be making a really fun fall card. I'd give you a little sneaky peek on the type of card we were going to make. Um, and we are highlighting, there's several stamps that I'm going to be using, but the main stamp set in this is going to be from Honeybee Stamps. This was one of my first purchases I had ever made with them, and I fell in love with the stamp set. I also got the die set here. Um, this is just a stamp set you really do need the dies with to be able for it to perform and do all the things that you want it to do. This is Patchwork Pumpkin, and I tell you, I've not seen anything like this out there um, designed like this. Um, I've seen different pumpkins, um, whole pumpkins with different designs, but not the capability of making your own, which I love. So we are going to be using that today. Along with that, for the inside, we're gonna be using a stamp set from May May Made It. It's called Fall for Jesus. Don't you just love the stamp set? We're also gonna be using a die set, or a stamp set from Catherine Puller, Give Thanks Sentiments from Catherine Puller. This is a new release from her, so this is in her shop. This is May May's latest scripture stamp of the club. Uh, stamp club for i guess what is this september probably yeah this was for september so i know that this is in the shop and the last i checked honeybee stamps does still have this stamp set so these are the stamps that we're going to be using today and we're also going to be using a slim line die now i will tell you i have not been on the slim line bandwagon i've done a few but not a lot um i don't know i i had trouble with the design um, it, it was awkward for me. I would make them. I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But then I got a couple of dies from Catherine Puller and I love them. It really changed the game for me. And I'm not one to spend a lot of money on standalone dies. Uh, I do have a Cricut and I do try to use my Cricut when I see something that I like. I think, wow, what can I do on my Cricut? you know, um, so I don't have to spend the money on that die and I can buy more paper. Um, but this die had my heart and this die is called Setting Pretty. Look at this, isn't this pretty? I love this die. So we're gonna be using that today. Our inks that we're gonna be using are from Catherine Puller and I have pulled out Mandarin Orange, Clay Mask, Orange Peel, and Icing on the Cake. These are her spa colors. Um, they're a muted uh, line of ink. She has two inks, the party collection and the spa collection. So I've chosen the ones from the spa collection because I wanted muted colors. I wanted to use something more muted with the paper. Um, I did go ahead and cut out the, the, um, the cover plate. I guess this is a cover plate. It covers the whole card so this is the setting pretty and i did this in a brown it's like a chocolate brown um, i think this is recollections so i cut that out i have a piece of card or a piece of um, designer paper and this just came from a fall pack that i have in my stash so we have that and then the slimline card base so i did cut this out and the measurements for a slimline card is three and a half by eight and a half so what i do is i take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and i cut it at seven by eight and a half and then we just score it on the three and a half right there okay so i have that this is a heavyweight cardstock this is from um michaels and i will tell you this is not i don't think the camera is going to pick this up but this is not a um bright white um, it's it's not cream it's a little off-white so that's why I decided to go with muted colors instead of like a stark stark white so this is our card base all right so let's just put that to the side so what I'm going to do is I cut out the pumpkin and this is your three pumpkin so what I've done is I've taken the die okay and i've cut the pumpkin out and what i'm using is this is cardstock from close to my heart i love close to my heart's cardstock for layering and for this type of work because it's thin i think it's like 65 
maybe 80 I'm not for sure but I like it and this is an almond color I think the name of the color is almond and the reason I'm using this um, is because I want a very muted background I don't want it to be really bright orange um, I want it to you know um, not be so bright for instance here's the card that I showed y'all and this is on bright white okay now I want to I will show you the difference when we get done but this is the same color combination this is mandarin clay mask and orange peel on this white cardstock okay so when we get done you'll see the difference um, the leaves are are stamped out on white and the hay pumpkins on white so um, I don't know if you can see the difference here it's hard to it's hard to see the difference but you will definitely be able to tell the difference on the pumpkin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you stamp this pumpkin out okay because there is a way to do it um, okay so you've got the designs and you can use any of these designs okay they're all made to go together the two that I chose for this card is like the basket weave right here and the buffalo plaid I absolutely love these two now you can just go straight across and just use it the way they have it I'm not doing that I'm going to use the buffalo plaid I'm going to use the um, like the basket weave and then we're going to use this little to me it reminds me of like 70s wallpaper type of print um, it looks like little floral and hexagons so we're going to be using that so what we're going to do i've already got them on stamp blocks so on the outside we're going to be using the basket weave okay and on the basket weave we want to start with what i consider the lightest color and that is orange peel now when you look at these these colors right here to look at this you're thinking ah melanie i don't know about that and i will tell you as far as now the mandarin's pretty close uh, when the ink dries it's pretty close to that but these two are not and um, this was one of her latest ink colors um, that came out with her collection and i'm like i don't know about that you know I, I didn't know about the color but i always buy her color families when she releases them i have all her inks and i love her inks um, but this is wound up being one of my favorite colors i love this color and you're going to see why so what we're going to do is we're going to open our orange peel this is a foam pad so they're highly saturated and you don't most ink pads that you deal with for instance i've got one right here your dis, uh, distressed oxide see that that is a felt pad it's hard so you can press on it these are not a felt pad these are a foam pad so you just want to give it a light tap now when you buy these i do highly recommend that you get the ink refill because they do absorb the ink and if you use them a lot you definitely have to refill them okay i'm using this close to my heart cutting mat remember i had showed this in another video and you flip it over and it's all foam so there's a good stamping stamping foam there okay so let's get this where you can see it all right let's see what i can do here what you want to do is you want to go over to the corner and i'm just leaving a little bit of Of the cardstock on the side do you see that it's not completely over to the side that's what you want then i'm going to ink it again and i'm going to flip it and i'm just going to come over here to the other side and we're going to stamp the other side now i'm going to get in here a little bit and see if i can see what i'm doing it's hard to do it from this angle all right we're going to go with it if it's not perfect it's not perfect oh wow that looks pretty good guys i did pretty good on that and i forgot to get anything to wipe these off with all right so now we're going to go to the buffalo check and we're going to go into clay mask remember what i said this color is amazing i love this color all right what we're going to do now if you see this you've got three little you've got the little ridges down here the little humps from the pumpkin and i really use those to help me line it up so I'm going to make sure I've got it turned and go in there leaving a little bit so we got I feel like I got that one off no wow all right let's see if I can do this last one oh all right let's get in here we're gonna this is why I love acrylic stamps 
um, photopolymer. I will never go back to red rubber. Some people love the red rubber. Oh, now see, I messed that one up. See, I've got a little bit too much, but that's okay. We're going with it. It's okay. It's handmade. All right, so what I did for the middle. Now the middle, you could definitely just stamp it. You've got the two middle pieces and you just stamp it. But what I decided to do was put mine up on foam to give it a little bit of a 3D feeling. So let me get my foam over here. You know what, and I did not bring scissors in here, so we're just gonna have to tear this stuff. This is just foam tape from scrapbook.com. I'm trying to use it up. Um, it's okay, it's pretty good. I guess I'm so used to that big Scotty, Maymay calls it Scotty, the Scotch foam tape that it's a little, I don't know, you get used to something and you like it. I like this because it's more narrow, so I definitely, definitely like that. All right, so we're gonna pop this up on foam. Let's get this out of the way, and you're gonna see what a difference this makes, okay? Look at that. And see where I messed up? It's okay, you can't really tell at all. Look at that, isn't that pretty? All right, so now what are we gonna do? We're gonna get the little bowl here. I always keep a cute little bowl, I love my bowl. This, isn't this pretty, guys? This is from Mary and Martha. It says, begin with grace, or no, begin with giving thanks. And it's Mary and Martha, I love this. My sister got me hooked on this Mary and Martha. If you like really pretty dishes and home decor, you should check them out. Okay, so what are we doing now? We're going to find a stem here. And what I did is I just punched a bunch out. I stamped the leaf in icing on the cake, and then I took a marker and I colored it. That's all I did here. On the um, stem, we just used the icing on the cake and we stamped that out. I did some pre-work because I didn't want the video to be super, super long. All right, so I'm using my art glitter glue and we're just going to glue that on there, right? And we're gonna take one of these. We're gonna take a little one, put that there. And we're gonna take one here and put it there. And maybe we'll put it here. I don't know yet. All right, so let's start putting the card together and we'll figure all this out. So let me put all this stuff back in here. All right. This card turns out so pretty. I cannot wait for you to see it. All right, so we're gonna take a card base, right? And we are going to put our piece on it. Now I did do this the size of the cardstock. It's a little off, but that's okay. We're never gonna be able to see it. And I'm using my ATG to glue this down because it's, this is a thin paper and I don't want my glue to show. Oh. Wow, messed that up right here on camera. What not to do with an ATG, right? Okay. Let's see if I can get this back. There we go. Whenever I got this thing, this one right here is like 12 years old, 15 years old. This is old, you can tell it's so dirty. Um, but my kids would get it. Um, Brandon would get it and mess with it and he would um, unroll it and I would know that one of the kids had it because they messed it up. All right, so we're just going to glue that on there, right? And we're gonna take a distressed oxide. I'm using Vintage Photo. I'm just going to get in there and we're just going to ink this up. Just give it a little bit of a distressed feel to it. And see, I have a little bit of white there, but that's okay. I'm not even gonna worry about it. All right, okay. And we're gonna do the same with this. We're gonna go ahead and, uh-oh, I didn't glue that down. We're going to take and distress this pumpkin. I love this. Wait till you see the difference. Wait till you see the difference between this pumpkin and the one that I did earlier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the pumpkin down. And again, we're gonna be using some foam tape 
and I am going to really cover this up. I don't want it to go flat. All right. Can y'all see my hands how dirty? I've been playing in ink all day, which I love, but I always go back to work on Wednesdays after being off and my hands, I have inky fingers. And, and Wednesday's the day that I, if customers look at me <laughs> and I can't get all of it off. All right, so let's get the card here and I'm just gonna go over to the side. Uh-oh, wait, I about messed up. Oh, we forgot our cover plate. Okay, do you see this? Watch what this does. I can't believe I forgot this. Now this, this is thin, so I just take my art glitter glue. You just wanna take a glue with a fine tip, right? And the great thing about art glitter glue is it does dry clear. And then I just go through where all the circles meet. Um, and I put a little glue there to make sure it all goes down. I don't dare try to go around this whole thing. And art glitter glue, you have to be careful because it does dry fast. So you've got to get in there. All right, I think we're good. Okay, let's go with it. All right. So we're going to take this. And unlike the Barely Art, the Art Glitter Glue, you have to work with it pretty fast. And it's okay, because all that will dry clear if you have any come through. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look how much that changed that. Can you see that? That is so pretty. Now we're gonna take our, and what I like to do, I like putting a little bit of glue on, on these. And we're just going to take this and we're going to put that right there. See that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, now let's go get our bits and pieces here. We've got some vines and uh, these are from another project that I worked on. All right, so let's see. We've got some big leaves here. Do we want a big leaf there? Yep. So we're going to put this here. All I'm doing is putting a little glue here and we're going to take this, lift this up a little bit and we're going to put that right there. Right, and then we're going to take one of these vines that we stamped out. Now, all this is still from this honeybee stamp. And put the little vine there. Oh, I love that. Guys, I love that. I think that's so pretty. Now, I do have a smaller one. I'm going to take the smaller one on the other side. And if you see, I use the same almond paper to stamp this. All right, so now we're going to take some bigger pumpkins. Let's put this over here to this side and let's get some of the vines here. We're just going to dab a little bit of glue. You see I get it everywhere. Just lift that up and we're going to take this out. And I like bringing it up too. So let's take it and bring it up a little bit. And we're going to add, we're going to add some more so I don't have any more small leaves um, cut, and I think that's a little big. I don't really want that there. Hmm. So you know what we're going to do? Well, we can't. I don't have my scissors. I'm going to say we were going to cut it and make it smaller. Let's see what we got. That doesn't look bad. Let's just go with that. That's pretty. All right. So let's put that there. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now here we are. We did the hay pumpkin right here. It's right there on the stamp set, hay pumpkin. And we're going to pop that up right here, right? All right, let's see. Guys, I make such a mess. I do. I try so hard to be neat. And I just don't think it's in my DNA. I just don't. It's awful. And I thought I had everything. I didn't have my scissors. <laughs> all right. So let's just take this. Let's get all that out of the way. And we're going to put that there. Right? Isn't that pretty? Guys, this card to me is just a beautiful card. Beautiful card. So what are we going to do now? We are going to take some sequins. 
This is Catherine Puller Sequence. It's called Oak City. And this is a, the brown collection. She has so many collections. Look at that goodness. Oh, well, thank goodness that wasn't glitter. It has so much in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the bigger sequins. And I'm trying to make a visual triangle with this. That's one thing I do when I use sequins. I really try to make it pleasing to the eye. And apparently pleasing to the eye in the art world is making triangles. So that's what we did. All right, so we're going to glue these down. And I do have a little tool for that, but I did not bring it to my table. I'm back at the dining room table today because I wanted some good lighting today. So these are bigger sequins, so I'm just going to use my hand here. And like I said, this is art glitter glue, so it dries clear, right? All right. So I'm just going to take my little art glitter glue and just push it down. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love this. Look at this. All right, so what are we going to do with the inside? We are going to open this card up. And from Catherine Puller's stamp set, we're going to take the icing on the cake. And remember, we're just doing a little love tap. Okay, we're just doing a little... We're not pressing it really hard. I'm going to line this up. And I'm just going to put it right there. Holding it just a few minutes. Let that ink transfer. See how pretty that looks? I love her inks. And that one's actually a little dry, so I hope I have enough on this. Now we're going to take this stamp from May May stamp set, the um, Fall for Jesus, and we're going to take these pumpkins right here, these little clusters of pumpkins. And whenever I have a bigger stamp like this, I just take the ink pad to the stamp. All right, and we're just going to ink that up really good. Now you have to be careful because now these inks react to water. Um, she does have the black ink that you can actually watercolor with and use Copics, but now these, these not so much. So if you're going to color on it, you have to be really careful because it will bleed. Well, we're going to color a little bit on these today. And what I've pulled here is some Spectrum Noir. And I have Amber, Burnt Orange, Earth Brown Extended, and Dull Green Blend. So we're going to take the Dull Green Blend. And these are the Tri-Blend markers. And I'm just going to take, I'm not a huge colorist, guys. I'm very simple. And I'm just going to take this light and I'm going over all these leaves. Now these are alcohol inks so they're going to bleed. Okay so on the back of your card you're going to have a little bit of this. Now if that bothers you do an insert. Cut you a three by eight and a quarter and do it on that. It did not bother me. Um, I've made several of these cards today because I plan on sending them out and it didn't bother me that it bled through. I was okay with it. Now, that was the light. I'm going to open it up and I have the dark. And I'm just going to go in and maybe just highlight a little bit. Guys, I don't know anything about shadows and where to put the shadows when you're coloring. I just kind of go with what I think looks good. And I think that looks good. All right. So now we're going to do the stem. And I'm going to use the light brown right here. I'm just going to go in and you have to be careful with these because this is a, these are the big nibs. The tri-blend has, um, what's the word I want to use? The tri-blend isn't a brush tip. That's what I want to say. It's more of a, it's a hard tip. All right, now we're going to go in, I think with the amber. And you have two ends on these. These are illustrators. So let's see, do I want to go in the amber? I don't have any scrap paper here. All right, we're going to go with the amber. And we are just going, yeah, that's what I wanted. We're going to color these pumpkins. 
Now, as you can tell, I'm just, I'm coloring. Now, if you're a colorist, you could get in here, you could shade, you could do so much. Um, I'm just a simple, simple colorist. I love this stamp set. I love all three of these stamp sets. That honeybee stamp set is beautiful. And look at these pumpkins. Look at this cluster of pumpkins. Again, I didn't have anything like this in my stash at all. I was so happy to get this stamp set. I got this, I went to Alabama. I've been back over a little bit over a week. Um, so I guess it was two weeks ago tomorrow. I can't believe it's already been two weeks, but it was Craft Acropolis and it was so much fun. I got to have class with May May, Lisa Wise from Lisa Wise Designs. Check her out if you love to scrapbook and make your own album. She's a good one. Um, Brenda, uh, Brenda just brings so much energy in any class you take under her. And she's the colorist. Brenda is very good at explaining color theory. Um, and Kim Dixon, so I had a really good time. But I bring that up because I bought this stamp set there. It had come out the day before we got there. And I'm in her regular Stamp of the Month Club, but I'm not in her scripture. And I fell in love with this stamp and I was so happy to get it. So I got that there. All right, guys, what do you think about this card? Isn't that pretty? And see on the back, it does bleed through, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, usually I, I do inserts, but I, today I just kept it simple. So let me show you what we've done today. So this makes my fourth one of these. So all these are the same, right? So let me show you the difference. This was the first one I did. I did this a couple of weeks ago when I got the stamp set. Do you see that? I used white cardstock and it's very crisp. It's bright. This and this are the exact same colors. Do you see what a difference it made? I decided to go more muted on this and I love it. Either one, either one. I just love this. I'm going to do a scrapbook page with this stamp set when I get off here. Um, and I'll post pictures. I don't know that I'll do a tutorial on it, but I will post pictures definitely. Um, I hope you enjoyed this card. Uh, I hope to do more of this. Next time we are going to be doing um, a fall card. It'll probably be Saturday when that video posts. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a fun fold. I'm trying to figure that out now. I'm trying to get more comfortable with doing it and coming with you with that. It's going to be another fall. We're going to be using May May's new squirrel stamp set that is so adorable and I don't have it here or I'd give you a sneaky peek. <laughs> All right guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and remember um, in my introductory video, I had told you guys that what I did is throughout the month that I'm going to have a little scrap bin and at the end of the month, I'm going to pull a random name from a comment in one of my videos. So this is the scrap bin starting. This is what I'm talking about, all the little bits and pieces. Um, I made a cluster today that I've not used. It's this pumpkin, and it's a cluster that you could put on a card or a scrapbook page. Um, there's some uh, paper that I've already cut down, and it's in there. So I'm already getting that scrap bin ready for you, and I can't wait to give that away. Depending on how much we have, if I have quite a bit, you know, there could be two winners. So. I think that is very exciting. And one more thing before I go, I'm gonna show you this card. I'm gonna reach over here. Now, I hadn't perfected this yet because the shaker didn't turn out the way I wanted it. However, I have to show you the, um, the cover plate, okay? All right, this is this cover plate right here. So this is the cover plate that we used, right? Look at this. I heat embossed it. Isn't that gorgeous? And what I tried to do was make it a shaker card. I took, these are um, leaves that I stamped out last year. And this is from that Catherine Puller stamp set, the uh, fall greetings. And I put acetate under here and I put it up on foam dot, but I didn't put enough foam dot. Well, I mean, it, it moves around quite a bit, but what I didn't do is I didn't take an anti-static tool around the foam adhesive. So the, the um, the sequence is sticking to the side. And so I'm gonna redo this card because I love it. This card is sitting in my craft room on my desk so I can look at it because I absolutely love this card. So that's just another thing that you can do with this cover plate. Guys, you can do so much with this cover plate. 
Um, you can just heat emboss it, and I did two or three coats on that. Look at that, it looks like glitter paper. You could use glitter paper. Um, I used my Spellbinders Platinum uh, die cutter, and it's a manual one, and it cut this out beautifully. Now, I'm not trying to cut it out on glitter, but it did cut it out on the regular paper beautifully, which, you know, when things are this intricate, sometimes that's hard. Sometimes, you know, you have to put some shims in it and some paper, but this one cut really, really good. So, love this. I love, 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 love this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and don't forget to leave a comment. Until Saturday, I will see you then. Bye.